Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Captain Willie Dykes. We'll be checking in with my partner Andrew Tulls in just a few minutes. And one of the big events that kick off the spring season here on Del Marva is a seafood festival in Chincoteague, Virginia. And this year, the event celebrated 50 years. It's fun, well organized, clean, and also forward thinking, because down here, folks take recycling to a whole new level. It's packed down here in the the part of Del Marva with plenty of good folks, good music, and good eats. We are celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Chincoteague Island Seafood Festival today here in beautiful uh, Chincoteague Island, Virginia at Tom's Cove Park Campground. This event is really the first uh, large uh, festival, outdoor festival uh, here on the island in the spring and it's just a celebration of the seafood industry and all that, that's good about Chincoteague is right here today. They don't get any fresher than that. The parking was easy and we found a spot, no problem at all. Woo! <laughs> Once again, this festival is sold out because if you're a seafood lover, this is your Shangri-La. They have great fried oysters, which my husband can tell you they're wonderful. They have just about everything here, the majority of which comes from right here on Del Marva. It was actually grown right in the waters at the back of the campground at Tom's Cove Aqua Farms. Uh, Tommy uh, Clark, who's the owner of that, Operation supplies most of the seafood for this event. I have some fried oysters and I'm ready to try. Uh, we have raw bar that features oysters and clams. Uh, we have uh, clam strips. We have uh, sweet potato fries, boardwalk fries, drumfish, flounder, codfish, steamed clams, clam fritters. Um, what else do we have? <laughs> they also have limes, but the great thing is they go pretty fast. Here you go, guys. Have a great day. Folks like Ray and Laura Twyford of Virginia's famous Ray's Shanty see to that. We have three generations here, Ray and I, our daughter Lindsay, and our granddaughter Savannah. We have folks that come for the weekend and um, that's the beauty of it is they come for a great festival on Saturday and get to spend the entire weekend here on our island enjoying all that we have to offer. Alrighty. Guests and volunteers pitch in to keep the campground spotless. In addition to the trash recycling, these little carts and what they were hauling caught our eye. Is that recycle these? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you do with them? We used to make oyster reefs, artificial oyster reefs. We absolutely collect tons, tons of oyster shells every year. Absolutely. That's terrific. Yes. And we got some more here too. That's great. Hey, yeah, look at this fella right here, dumping them in. <laughs> All right. Thank you. We got members of the community pitching in. We got it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> They're part of a shell recycling program spearheaded by folks from the Nature Conservancy. And by the end of the day, this trailer will be full. And twice a year, we come up to Chincoteague to the large seafood festivals at the invitation of the Chamber of Commerce and collect the discarded oyster and clam shells for use in the Nature Conservancy's marine restoration efforts on the on Virginia's eastern shore. We have several uh, sanctuaries that we help manage on the, in the seaside bays of Virginia. And we take these shells and basically grow more oysters with them is the short story. Oysters, when they're babies, they're larvae, they're swimming, they need something hard to grab onto and they live there for the rest of their life. These shells provide them with something hard to grab onto basically. From time to time, we here at Outdoors Del Marva have done stories on shell recycling as well as Virginia's multi-million dollar oyster farming industry and it's cool to see the whole cycle in action. Down we have a preserve called Brownsville Preserve down in Nassawatics, Virginia on the Eastern Shore, which is our headquarters for the Nature Conservancy in this area. And we'll take them down there and dump them in a pile is the first step that happens. And then we have more volunteers that will come and help us bag them up. And once those shells have been bagged, we'll use them and we'll, we'll lay them out then and we'll wait for a spawning season to see if the oysters will grab on and if that is indeed a good place to do restoration. The new oyster babies are going off onto public oyster ground so other people can enjoy them. And it increases the diversity of the area as well. There are lots of fish and smaller creatures that like to hide in the nooks and crannies of oysters. They're helping to clean the water and they help protect our shorelines as well by, uh, by giving us a break from the waves. 
Others will just get loaded up in the dumping trailer like this and be dumped loose out into the water. So it's very few steps. Basically, people slurp the oysters and they eat the clams, they toss the shells in here, and in, in pretty quick time, those shells are back in the water growing new oysters. It warms the heart to see so many folks pitching in here at the 50th annual Chincoteague Seafood Festival. We can see that the future of oysters and clams is being well tended to. If you didn't make it for this year, we would love to see you next year. And tickets are on sale now for the 51st annual Chincoteague Island Seafood Festival next year. So here's to another 50 years of success for the best spring seafood festival here on Delmarva.